Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. This is my very first video with Diablo 2 Resurrected Highlight, and today I'll be showing the results that came out of 100 Chaos Sanctuary runs. I do hope you enjoy it. Let's get right into the video. The first decent item drops on run number 5, and it's a Grim Shield. This is the Lidless Woe, a decent shield for casters, especially. Uh, right now you can trade it for a lamb or maybe even a Poe, if you're more patient. Next up, it's run number 7. And we get a unique bone visage from the ghosts. This item can roll 25 to 35 strength and may have 1 to 2 open sockets. It's quite rare and an interesting find, although it doesn't see that much use. Some Boazons use it and that's about it. There are better options for mercenaries. This one rolls with two sockets. From 13, and we drop a unique decapitator. This is the Hellsphere Axe. It used to be quite popular among shapeshifter druids in patch 1.09, but I don't think it sees much use nowadays. It's still a cool looking axe though. Run 21, a small charm drops from the Venom Wards. Let's see what it is. Flat 20 wife. Always nice to find these. It's now run 27, and we're getting our first decent drop from the man himself. A unique gilded shield. It's a great shield for Paladins, the Herald of Zacharum. Low on defense, but still great. On the following run, we get another great item for Paladins from Diablo once again. A Temper Coat. It's the Guardian Angel. Next on the menu, we've reached run 35 when a Winged Helm drops. Once again from him. We do have some trouble finding space initially. But in the end, it's the Valkyrie Wing. Run 37 on Eldritch Orb drops from the Ghosts. Let's see how it rolls. It's 3 to Sorcerer skills, but the damage could be better. Run 43, we get our first noteworthy rune. It's a Vex rune. This is a great find, as it's needed for a number of popular rune words. Halfway there, it's run 50 when a set item Sacred Armor drops. A pretty rare find. It's the Immortal King's Armor. Run 59, an Ogre Axe drops. An Ethereal one would be great. However, Work is not on our side this time, it's just a regular one. Run 70, great boots for smiters drop, due to the crushing blow on them. We've got the goblin toe. Two runs later, we get a unique cuirass on our way to Diablo. It's an ethereal drill shell. It gives great stats for mercenaries as well as the cannot be frozen effect. Run 74, my mark is doing all the work when unique javelin drop. These are the thunder stroke. Let's see how they roll. Mm, not that great, unfortunately. Run 77, another great item for smiters drops. It's the G-Phase, best in slot for smiters. Run 
turn 91 my merc gets a unique ring. It's a nice nature, rolls 29 out of 30. Turn 93, unique mesh boots drop. They are the silk weave, decent for casters. The very last noteworthy item drops in run 97 from Diablo once again. It's a unique grand charm, decent MF, the rest is not that great. Throughout the runs, three grand charms that are great for rerolling with perfect gems drop from Diablo, as well as eight essences of terror in total. These didn't make it into the video, but I thought they deserve at least a mention. The place is also great if you're looking to find decent bases for rune words. Thanks for staying until the end. In the next video, I'll be showcasing the results of 500 Traving Co runs. In the future, I'm also planning to farm with other characters, tinker with various builds, come up with and test different challenges, also looking forward to creating ladder champions once it's live. See you in the next one!